Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and to my first video of 2021. I hope you're all keeping well and staying positive during these very kind of crazy times and a very kind of strange start to 2021 but um, here's hoping it's only going to get better from here. Today I have a haul for you kind of with all the things that I've been picking up during lockdown. I think it's safe to say we're all doing a little bit more online browsing than usual and a bit more online shopping and you know what it's something to do the packages are something to look forward to and we could be doing a lot worse so so I'm not gonna feel bad about it. Um, we're still in Ireland I'm actually filming this in my closet and this is actually the second time I filmed this video. Uh, long story short I filmed it a few days ago and when I went to edit it I realized that my camera was on the wrong setting the whole time and like 70% of the video was blurry so that's that um sure look could be worse not the end of the world we'll just do it again round two um as I said I'm in my closet so if you do hear a hoover a dog barking um a DPD van coming up to the yard I'm sorry disclaimer all of those things could happen but sure look doesn't it keep it exciting um as long as the video is not blurry I'll be happy this time but I've a good few things to get through guys so I'm gonna get straight into it and show you the pieces okay first off I'm gonna start in a high and show you one of my favorite pieces our favorite things in the entire haul and it is these New Balance runners I recently got these and I have not stopped wearing them guys I absolutely love them and honestly if you had told me a year ago that I would buy a pair of trainers like this or never mind wear them I would probably laugh at you because they definitely weren't my style before but recently like everyone I've obviously started dressing a lot more casually and have been kind of buying more active wear and lounge wear and I really wanted a pair of runners that I could kind of dress up and dress down and I just think these are perfect and these are the New Balance 530 style and I'd actually been looking for these for a really really long time they were super hard to track down because they're quite a popular shoe um, but I finally found them on the shoe website and I was so so happy because they were actually on sale as well the same day I found them they're usually about a hundred euro I think but I got them for 68 and I got them in my usual size six um, and yeah I just really like them they're like this kind of navy blue color and um, it looks black in some pictures but it's more of a navy blue and they have these silver details all over on like the end and on the front and the back of the shoe where it says 530 here and I just think they're really fun one style they go with a lot lot of things and so far I've gotten loads of wear out of them as I've said so I'm very happy with them. I will leave the link below to the shoe website for where I got them because I believe they are out of stock but you can put your email in and they'll notify you when they come back and I also saw them on the Urban Outfitters um, website so I'll leave that link as well and I believe you can put your email in there too so sticking on the shoes I might as well keep going with them. I also got this pair and guys Mm -mm -mm. I absolutely adore these shoes like I am not joking when I tell you I was eyeing these up for weeks before I bought them but I'm so so glad I did and there are these loafers from H&M they are like a leather style with these kind of chunky soles and they have gold detailing on the buckle here and I absolutely adore these guys I think that this style is actually going to be super big for spring summer it already has been big over the last few months and I was this close to buying a pair kind of like a similar pair to these off ASOS a couple of months ago but they were more like kind of a school shoe style with a big buckle on the front and when I went to buy them they were gone but I think it was actually a blessing in disguise because I much prefer these I think they're really unusual and I haven't seen like many styles like this so I'm really happy with them they were a bit of a splurge I'm not gonna lie they were like 70 euro which is quite expensive for H&M but the quality is amazing and again I just think I'm gonna get so much wear out of these over the next few months so very very happy I've already styled them a few times and I just love how they look and I know they're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea I get that but I definitely love them and I think they're cool so so happy with them I got them in my usual size as well 39 UK 6 and they fit perfectly okay next up I picked up some pieces from a website called get that trend um, and it's actually an Irish website so I'm really happy to support them and I got some lovely pieces so let me show you the first piece I got is a jacket is that how you pronounce it jacket um, and I absolutely love this I think it's really cool again I kind of got this to wear with active wear like the runners I thought it'd be really fun to style this with like a gray tracksuit or even like a black tracksuit and it's just a fun way to dress up something like that I think I love the colorway this one has it's like beiges and black colors that I wear so so much and it's a really nice fit as well and I like that it's like not too heavy not too light so it's something that I could layer in the autumn and winter but also style in like spring summer which is something I really consider when I buy something now like can I wear this 
in every season can I style it different ways um, I'm just trying to be a little bit more kind of I suppose conscious with my buying and I just thought this piece was perfect for that so I got it in a size small to medium and it's like a nice oversized look you'll see in the clip that I tried it on and I will put the price on the screen as well I can't remember off the top of my head but yeah really happy with that and I'm excited to style that up next piece I got is another jacket and it is this Galay and come here this is another piece that I probably would not have picked up a year ago like I've definitely changed my style so much this year but I love this and I'm so excited to style it I've seen a lot of girls styling um, Galays over the last few weeks and I just thought and I just think they look really cool and it's a nice alternative to like a bomber jacket coming to the springtime again and this style in particular I really like because you can button it up and you can tighten it in so that it doesn't look like too chunky on you and I love that it's black really versatile I can wear this with every single tracksuit I have now, I just think it's a practical piece for right now since I am mostly wearing like literally walking clothes and clothes for working from home so I know I'll get loads of wear out of this again and I got this in a size I think a medium yeah a medium because I kind of wanted it to be a little bit bigger I didn't want it to be too tight and it's perfect I'm usually like a size 8 to 10 for reference but I'll try it on as well in a clip for you so you can see and yeah, I'm delighted I got my hands in a gillet because I've been literally eyeing them up all over Pinterest. So I'm so excited to style that up. So keep an eye on my Instagram to see how I do that. Next thing I picked up is this jumper dress. I have it on a hanger because I've actually worn this already. I could not wait to style this. When I saw it on the website, I straight away knew how I wanted to style it and what I would wear it with. So I've taken some pictures already. I'll pop them on the screen for you so you can see. Um, but yeah, I just love this. I love the shoulders. I love that it's sleeveless. And I love the thick high neck. I just think that looks so kind of luxe. I don't know why, but I just love it on other people. So I wanted to get something that had a thick high neck like that. And it's a lovely length as well, just kind of above the knee. And yeah, I'm just not over this kind of knitted look yet, like for layering, things like that. So I knew I wanted to pick this up and style it up. Um, I'm loving the sweater vest still. Like I'm still obsessed with that trend. And I hope it doesn't go anywhere. So I just thought this was a nice take on it. And I didn't have any like black jumper dress like this. So I thought it'd be a good addition to to my wardrobe and one that I can again wear over and over this one I got in a size I think small but I will put it on the screen and I'll put the price there as well and it's a lovely fit it's not too tight but it's not too bulky it's kind of like an oversized fit but in a good way the next thing I picked up from Get That Trend is probably my favorite piece out of the whole haul just because it's so practical and I've already worn this a couple of times I even think there's like a coffee stain on it so so please ignore that if you see it I have not taken this off since I got it but it is this sweatshirt which is like a lovely beige color and it has this logo here at the front and I'm just living in these guys I don't know about you but I just love a crew neck lately like it's all I wear when I'm working from home or I'll layer it for a walk um, and they're just so cozy and comfy be but yet I still think they look stylish and they look like you've put in a bit of effort especially if you like layer it with a nice necklace or like nice jewelry I just think you can really dress them up but also wear them casually so yeah I really love this and I just think the color makes it look so luxe I got this in a size I believe it was small medium there it's quite an oversized style which I love I hate when these are like too tight and stuck to you I like them to be nice and baggy and loose it's definitely my favorite thing from the haul I just know I'm gonna wear it so much more sticking on the sweatshirts front of course I picked up another one because as I said I love them at the moment and they're all I'm wearing so I got this black style that says this is my day off sweatshirt I actually didn't have any black um, crew necks with me here in Ireland so I thought I'd pick this one up and I just love the little um, saying on the front and again this is like a nice oversized style and lovely and soft on the inside it's like that lovely um, woolly texture that's so warm and so cozy so really happy with that and I got this in a small medium as well and I'll write the price on the screen here for you next thing I picked up was this plain kind of basic black top with a square neck and I really needed something like this in my wardrobe because I actually picked up a style similar to this in Zara a couple of months ago but I didn't realize how cropped it was until I brought it home and I just never wear it now because I just feel like it's too cropped and I just don't feel comfortable in it like cropped tops are just not something I like to wear during the winter months heck I don't even love to wear them in the summer sometimes I just feel like they're a little hard to style at times um, and come here who wants to put tan on their belly in the middle of winter like not me I I'm putting tan from here up and that's pretty much it and my legs if I know I'm going to be wearing like a dress or something who wants to tan their belly like not not me so I got this style which is a good bit longer um so it tucks nicely into my jeans and anything else I want to wear with it sorry there's a few hairs in it now there because it was on the ground but 
but it's really really comfortable the material is so soft and it just sucks you in in all the right places and um, you'll see in the try on so i'm very happy with that and i know i know this is something i'm gonna wear a lot layered under things by itself lovely with like a blazer and jeans just like a real simple chic look um, and i got this in a size small and it fits perfectly the next thing I picked up, and it's something I couldn't do this lockdown haul without, is a pair of sweatpants. I've been pretty much wearing the same sweatpants now for the last few weeks. They're this grey pair I picked up from H&M and I have not taken them off. So I really needed a different pair to change it up a small bit. So I got this pink kind of peachy pair. And this is actually a colour I hardly ever wear. I'm not a huge pink person. But I just thought coming into spring summer it would be nice to change it up and kind of introduce a more girly pair into my wardrobe and I love these again they're so soft and so cozy and they're like a nice thick material uh, which makes them just feel a little bit more luxe I hate when sweatpants are too thin they just it just feels like it defeats the purpose so these are nice and thick and they have the lovely um fleecy inside again which I just have to have in things these days I'm always so disappointed when I put on something cozy and it doesn't have that fleecy inside so I am very happy with these and I've already worn them a couple of days working from home and I can promise you they are work from home friendly very very cozy very comfy and I got these in a size medium and they fit really nicely they're not like stuck to me because I personally like when things are a little bit bigger just so they're extra comfy so yeah I would really recommend these and they actually have this kind of style of pants in loads of other colors as well but they were just sold out um, in a few of the colours but they'll be coming back in if you are looking for other sweatpants they had a lovely like stone colour black and I think they had a lovely beige as well so if you're looking for sweatpants like that I would recommend checking them out and last but definitely not least probably my second favourite after the cream sweatshirt is this dog tooth sweater vest i don't know if sweater vests are like still super on trend or not but i personally love them and i want them to stay around for as long as possible because they're so fun to style i love the kind of schoolgirl vibe that they're giving off and i just thought this one was so nice and i love beige and black so much they're like two of my favorite colors to wear so when i saw this i knew i had to have it and i've already tried this on with a few different outfits and i love how it looks it's just such a fun one love the preppy look it gives off and i do actually think that they are going to stick around for spring summer i have have feeling that there's going to be new fun ways to style them for the spring like with skirts and sandals and like t maybe collared t-shirts I could definitely see that I've, I've seen a couple of girls like in California where the weather is really nice wearing them like that so I think that they will be sticking around uh, I hope anyway and I know for sure I'll definitely be wearing this coming into spring and again it's something I can wear all year round so I'm very happy with that I got it in a medium large and again I'll put the price here for you so you can reference and they did have some other fun colors and this one is well and a few other sweater vests if you want to check them out they had a lovely pink one as well which i'm kind of kicking myself now i didn't get but yeah i will link it below and i'll link any other ones i really liked on the website too and the last two things I picked up from Get That Trend are not clothes, but they're definitely two things I'm so happy with as well. And the first one is this Tangle Teaser. I'm an avid Tangle Teaser user, and I've had the same one, I'm not gonna lie, probably for seven or eight years. So it's definitely time to give it an upgrade. So I got this nice black style, and I just find this brush brilliant for getting the knots out of thick, long hair, which you can see I have quite a bit of. Um, I've tried so many other brushes, but none of them get the knots out as quick as a tangle teaser so I picked that one up in a lovely black colour mine was like a bright pink so I much prefer this one and then the, the other thing I picked up which I'm actually wearing right now is this cream blusher and this is from the brand Sculpted by Amy Connolly it's, it's the pink light liquid blush and I absolutely adore this guys it's so so nice I've been looking for a cream blusher for a while now because my skin gets really dry in the winter and I just find that the powders don't sit as well so when I saw this on the website I said I'd give it a go and I'm so happy I did because I really really like it it's like a gorgeous pinky peach color and it has like a shimmer through it which is so nice as well and gives you like a really nice healthy glow I'll pop a picture on the screen of a closer look at my face so you can see it properly but I'm really happy with that and it's so affordable as well so I would definitely check that out they actually have loads of good beauty brands on get that trend and um, which I wasn't aware of so I'm very impressed with that if you want to get everything in one go it's a good one-stop shop for that so that is everything and good news the lovely girls at get that trend have given me a discount code to share with you guys if you do want to purchase any of those things or any other things on their website it's for 10 percent and the code is kaylin i'll just leave it on the screen here if you want a screenshot to use later and it will be valid for the next few days so feel free to use it if you did like any of those bits or if you see anything else on the website 
Okay, moving on to the next store, which is River Island. I picked up a couple of things over the last few weeks on there, so I thought I'd show you them too. First one is this sweater vest, which again, I have in the hanger because I've worn this so many times already since I got it. As I said about the Get That Trend one, I really still love a sweater vest and I plan on wearing them for the rest of the year. So I picked this up. What drew me to this is the white stripes. Again, I just love the preppy look and I thought that would be fab styled over a white t-shirt or a white shirt with jeans or a skirt, or like over like a dress. I I just thought it was really cool and funky and has these gold buttons as well on the shoulder which I thought were a lovely detail so, so I'm really glad I picked that up and I got that one in a size 10. The next thing I picked out from River Island is this fab beige kind of camel coat and believe it or not I do not have a coat like this in my wardrobe and I don't know why because it is such a staple piece that most women do have. I think what happened to me was that I had like a couple of darker beige coats like more of a brown I just felt like I have those I shouldn't get another one but to be honest I just didn't wear them that much so I said you know what no I will give one of those to charity or I will give it to someone else and get one that I actually really like and that I'll wear more often. And I love this, the quality is so nice. It's a lovely thick material and I really love the shape. It's, it's that straight, almost kind of masculine, which I love shape and it has these lovely strong shoulders on it. And I think the black buttons just make it look super expensive and luxe and I really, really like this. No, for a fact, I will get loads of wear out of this and this will be something that like stays in my wardrobe for a really long time. Feels really like a capsule piece. I got it in a size 10 and it's a lovely oversized fit. Next up I got myself a black hoodie. Um, I actually didn't have any black hoodie. The only one I had was in New York and it's cropped as well so I need to get rid of that too because I just don't wear it again. Cropped clothes, I don't know why I buy them because I just don't feel comfortable in them. But this one is much nicer, it's a longer fit. This one I like because it's a little bit thinner and for me I love to layer hoodies because I've been wearing this a lot under blazers and my bomber jacket and coats like the camel one I just showed. I love them styles like that. I love, love, love dressing up a hoodie. I just think there's something really cool about it. This one's really cozy. Again, it has a lovely fleece inside like the other pieces I showed you. And yeah, I just think you can't go wrong with a black hoodie in your wardrobe especially these days when active wear is so so prominent and then the next piece i got from river island are these gray jeans they're like a straight style and they're the kind of jeans i've been looking for for a while I, I love this kind of straight style i find myself reaching for them a lot more lately i think we're kind of all gone a little bit out of touch with wearing fitted clothing um since we've been in lockdown just because we're at home so much and wearing track suits and like very comfy clothes so this style for me is one that i find myself reaching for a bit more if i do want to put on a pair of jeans and I just liked this grey colour I thought it'd be a nice change from black and blue and I just think it's a fun one to style with the colour black which I love to wear and chunky boots which I also love to wear so I'm glad I picked those up I got them in a 10 long and I would recommend going for the long if you are like 5'8 or over I'm 5'9 for reference 10 fits me well so I'm delighted with them Okay, the next thing I picked up from River Island is a bit of a funky one and I'm still not 100% sure if I love it or if I hate it, but you can be the judge and you can help me decide. It is this jacket and as you can see, it has this like really big fur collar and it also has this these really big fur sleeves and it's like a dark denim and it has these like gold details on it and I just think this could be really cool and I could style this really nicely, but I'm just not sure. Um, let me know what you think. I don't know, I really think it will be nice on and it's like a very statement piece and something that you can like have a lot of fun with. There's something about it that I really, really like but I'm just not sure if there's just a bit too much going on. Um, but let me know what you think guys. I'm gonna try and style it up a few different ways over the next day or two before I decide. Um, but I do think it has potential. And the next piece I got from River Island I actually have on, so I'll quickly show you here. It's this beige collared t-shirt style with these um, kind of embellished buttons. And, and I really like this. I, wa I wasn't sure about it when I actually ordered it because I wasn't sure how the shape would be on me, but I really like it. I love the polo look. I think of the color. The only thing I'm not like super mad about are the embellished buttons but they're kind of growing on me a small bit. I would have probably preferred a plain button. They do add a bit of bling to it, so they're not that bad, I suppose. And it's just super soft and cozy to wear, and it feels like I've put in a bit of effort, but I still have like my comfy kind of loungewear on. And, and this actually had a matching pants as well, which I'm kind of regretting not getting. Um, they're like the same color and the same fabric, and they're more of like a wide leg. So nice little set if you are looking for something for lounging around the house. And I got this in a size medium for reference. I probably could have done with a small, but you know what it's not the end of the world I love my clothes to be oversized anyway then I actually forgot as well I have another pair of shoes to show you from River Island and it is these chunky boots 
I love a chunky boot guys if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that because it's literally all I wear right now probably for a couple of reasons number one they are extremely comfortable number two they give you a bit of height and number three I just think they really embody like that cool laid-back kind of like masculine look which I absolutely love if I've, I've probably said that like five times in this video now so I'm sorry about that but yeah I really enjoy styling them and I do have a pair already that are kind of low and then I also have my pair from Zara if you're familiar with them which are really high like near the knee so I just thought a pair like this height would be good would be a good addition to my wardrobe because I do find myself sometimes wishing that I had a pair in the middle um so I when I saw these I said I'd pick them up and they have this cool like white um stitching as well at the bottom here and they're really really nice quality very comfortable very sturdy and i just feel like these are going to last me a really long time as well again i got my usual size in them in a uk6 and they fit really nicely and then the last thing i picked up from river island are these sunglasses which i'll try on for you and give you a bit of a idea of them i love a skinny sunglass i just think they look so cool very supermodel off duty which i know i'm not a supermodel but come here we're trying we're trying um and yeah i just loved this print on these ones they have like a tortoise print which is kind of like beige and brown and i just didn't have a style like these in my collection um so i said i would pick them up they were really affordable i think i think they're only like 12 euro or somewhere in and around that so, but i'll write it on the screen here i think they'll be cool in the summer too if we do get to do nice things but anyway i like to wear sunglasses all year round so i know i'll get wear out of these and then I just have a couple of more random bits to show you that I've picked up. The first one is this Way Matte Pomade. I picked this up a couple of weeks ago after seeing so many girls on Instagram raving about it. Um, and basically what it's for is to like bring down your flyaways when you do like sleek hairstyles, which I'm a big fan of. I love a sleek ponytail or like a sleek bun. So I thought I'd pick this up because I do have quite a bit of breakage on the top of my head and I just find whenever I do a style like that, I just end up having loads of baby hair flyaways. So I thought this would be a handy want to have it's like a waxy kind of beige texture if you can see there sorry it's kind of getting a bit dark now outside and my lighting is going a little bit but hopefully you can see that if you put it on your fingers kind of rub it together and onto your hair the beige white look goes away so don't be afraid of that and a little bit goes a really really long way so i'd say this jar will last me for a very long time i picked this up off of either look fantastic or cult beauty i can't remember but i will link it below as well and i think it was around 20 euro but again it will last a really, really long time so i'm delighted i finally got my hands on it then the next thing i kindly got sent to me but i wanted to share it with you because it's supposed to be really really good it's grande lash serum it's been on my kind of list to buy for a really long time now because my lashes are not great as you can see i love to get lash extensions and i usually get them like in the summer and at christmas time this time after i got them my lashes just were in such bad shape and they always are but i kind of get on with it anyway because i don't have the best lashes to begin with but i said you know what we're going to be in lockdown for a while now and it's the perfect time to get a serum and start using one and it's so funny because i was looking into the mad and i think i had put something up on instagram um because i did like a makeup tutorial and my lashes just absolutely looked terrible in them so i said like oh, i need to get a lash serum or whatever and the next day this lovely woman that owns a salon in waterville called carrick anna beauty i'll put the handle up here for you if you want to check it out and um, got in touch with me um, and she said she'd love to send me this grande lash serum to try out so i was so thankful to her for getting in touch and i've started using this already but i put it back in the box so you could see what it looks like so i'm really excited to see how it goes i've only used it for about four nights now so obviously there hasn't been a big difference but hopefully there will be it says you kind of need to use it for three months before you see a big difference so i will keep you updated over my instagram um if you do want to see how i get on with it and hopefully i'll have lovely lashes by summertime um here's hoping i would i can't imagine having good lashes because i've never ever had good lashes so so it'll be interesting to see if it works but i'll keep you updated and last but certainly not least is some jewelry that i recently got from erica's collaboration with lulery if you haven't seen it already my sister erica collaborated with with a jewelry company called lulery which is based in dublin and they created the most beautiful collection with the most stunning pieces and it launched in november but when it launched they had a very limited amount of stocks so i didn't want to take any just in case i didn't have enough but they recently restocked this january and i was finally able to get my hands on some of my own pieces so i got the gorgeous hudson hoop which I'm currently wearing and which I have been wearing since I got them. I'm such a hoop girl. If you don't know already, I wear hoops every single day and these are probably my favorite piece in the collection. I remember when Erica was showing me the pieces, I said, you have to do this.
them. I absolutely love them. They're such a gorgeous shape and they're really nice and light as well. So very comfortable to wear. And yeah, they're just so me. And the other piece I got is also very, very me. I kept it in the box so I could show you. Um, they come in this gorgeous like navy blue box with Ludri on the front. And it is the Carmine chain, um, which is a gorgeous like vintage inspired gold chain. And this piece is so stunning. It's so luxe. It's so simple, but it enhances an outfit so much, like even with a plain white t-shirt or a plain black top, it just finishes off a look so, so nicely. So I'm so happy I finally have my own pieces and I'm just so happy for them. It was such a success, the, the collection and the launch. And I'm delighted that I was able to be a part of it. I shot the campaign with Erica and it was such a fun project to work on. So I'm really glad that it went well for them and hopefully there'll be lots more to come this year from the Lulurie by Retro Flame collection. Um, I will be sure to link it below if you are looking to get any new jewellery, looking to buy any presents for anyone. There's some gorgeous pieces in there. It'll be a fabulous like birthday present or anniversary present or graduation present. They're just gorgeous. So especially if there's any boys watching this guys, if you need to buy your girlfriend anything, check it out. Um, so yeah, I think with that now guys, that is everything. Hope you enjoyed this little haul guys. I'm sorry if the lighting changed a little bit towards the end, it's getting dark and I would have rather film this in complete natural light, but it's towards the end of the day and I literally just figured out that the video was blurry. So hopefully this one turned out better despite the lighting. And if you did get this far and if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment below what you liked best. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love for you to do so. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.